Another day, another story. Bukowski once wrote, Some people never go crazy. What truly horrible lives they must lead. In the echoing void between societal norms and the wild, untamed territories of the human psyche, there's an uncomfortable truth. We are complex, unsolved, and often a chaos of contradictions. In the intoxicated hours of the night, amidst empty whiskey bottles and the silent ticking of a remorseless clock, the exploration into the corridors of the human mind reveals truths as unsettling as they are liberating. The paradox of choice. Choice, a liberty yet a silent oppressor. Every option, a corridor leading to a thousand doors, each door opening to a universe of others. Amidst abundance, the soul suffocates, drowned by possibilities and starved by the insatiable thirst for the unseen, untouched and unchosen. Bukowski's characters, often prisoners of their own making, reflect this paradox. In the dark corners of bars and the silence of empty rooms, the echoes of what-ifs are both a song of freedom and a dirge of captivity. Capgras delusion. Faces, familiar yet alien. Eyes that look but do not see. Every touch is a mystery, every gaze, an imposter's. Who are we if not a reflection in the eyes of others? But what if reflections lie, morph, betray? In the eerie silence of distrust, Bukowski's narrative would be impregnated with the poison of doubt, where love is a suspect and intimacy, a deceptive shadow. Dissociative identity disorder. Multiple souls, multiple wars all housed within the ragged boundaries of a single mortal body. Every identity clamoring for life is averse in the tragic poetry of existence. Bukowski, a man of many faces, the poet, the lover, the drunkard, could ink verses bleeding the tumultuous, chaotic dance of selves, each echoing the silent scream of birth and death endlessly. Dunning-Kruger effect, in the intoxicating dance of ignorance, every step is a silent symphony of delusional grandeur. To know one's reflection as a king while the world sees a beggar, oh, the tragic comedy, Bukowski, with ink as raw as the unfiltered truths of dawn, would unveil the naked dance of the ignorant in the merciless light of self-unawareness. The halo effect. Angels and demons are born of the same womb, perception. Beauty, a silent composer of virtues and sins, writes the narrative of worth. In Bukowski's world, the beautiful are as damned as the ugly, for their sins are sonnets and their virtues, an elegy of unseen, unacknowledged truths. Stockholm Syndrome. Prisoners loving their chains, the enslaved kissing the hands of their captors. In the grimy raw universe of Bukowski's verses, this perverse dance of affection and oppression would find its cruel poetic echo. Each touch of the captor is liberation, each chain, a silent testimony of an affection born in the womb of captivity. Imposter syndrome. Crowns sit heavily on the heads adorned with laurels of achievements. In the silent night, where victories are echoes of a distant, unbelievable past, the soul confronts its own reflection, an imposter. Bukowski, a reluctant bearer of laurels, could weave the silent, tragic ballad of the victorious, where every accolade is a haunting whisper of fraud. The bystander effect. The collective gaze, cold, indifferent, witnessing the dance of suffering with silent eyes. In this cruel theater of apathy, Bukowski's verses would bleed the raw, unuttered screams of the silent witnesses and the unsaved victims. Humanity, a spectator, tragedy, an uninvited yet enduring guest. The dark triad. Narcissism, Machiavellianism, psychopathy. A sinister waltz in the dark corridors of the soul. Bukowski, a reluctant dancer in this ominous ballet, would unveil the silent symphony of manipulation, deceit, and ruthless ambition with verses as piercing as the gaze of the tormented and as raw as the unmasked truths of the human condition. Cognitive dissonance, beliefs, actions, a tumultuous dance of inconsistencies. The soul, a battlefield, the truths, silent casualties. In the unyielding light of conflicting beliefs, Bukowski's ink would unveil the tragic, ecstatic chaos of a soul at war with itself. Every belief a soldier, every action a battlefield. Conclusion In the intoxicated silence of a world asleep yet awake, the exploration into these psychological theories is a journey into Bukowski's universe. Raw, unfiltered, merciless, yet poetic. Each theory is a verse in the silent poetry of human existence, each soul a silent echo of the tumultuous, ecstatic dance of contradictions. In Bukowski's world, psychology is not a study but a raw, unuttered melody of souls, as damned as they are sacred, as free as they are enslaved.